Somewhere in the afterlife, Ned Stark is looking down at Tyrion and thinking to himself, Trial by combat? You mean I could have chosen that? Today we're drawing the House Stark sigil from Game of Thrones. For those who don't watch Game of Thrones, I'm basically drawing the official logo for honour, loyalty, justice, and unbelievable medieval stupidity. I was thinking the other day, if just one of the Starks was a complete psychopath like the Lannisters or Boltons from the get-go, most of them probably still would be alive. For instance, what if Jon Snow was secretly sneaking around conspiring to secure the Iron Throne for his father in order to be recognised as a legitimate son? That might mean Jon Snow was running around kidnapping Lannisters and murdering Baratheons in the shadows. Hmm, I wonder if people would think he was a villain or anti-hero if he was actually doing that kind of stuff. If you could rewrite the story of Game of Thrones right now, what tweaks or changes would you make? Would you make Ned Stark enlist in the Night's Watch and protect against the White Walkers? Also, I like the fact that it's the start of Season 6 and nobody seems to give a shit about the impending apocalypse on the other side of the country. Well, I guess it's not too hard to believe. After all, the American election is going on right now and in some cases, <coughs> Donald Trump, <coughs> it's extremely comparable with Game of Thrones. The Apocalypse, or White Walkers, represent climate change, and the refugees and the people stuck on the other side of the wall represent the third world, who nobody seems to care about. So maybe that scenario is closer to home than any of us realise. 